Nishadi De Silva from European Bioinformatics Institute. Nishadi, can you hear me? I can, yes. Yes, okay, so you can start. Uh, Would you like me to share your slides for you, please? Or you want to share? Yeah, because I'm having some mage system preference issues. Do you want to share the slides and I'll talk over them? Okay, all right. I'm just going to find your slides now. Sorry about that. I don't usually. No I've, we've been doing this for eight months now, and still, sometimes, always, when I try to share a screen, something goes wrong. Uh, I'm going to share this now. Can, you, can everyone see my screen now, please? Yeah, I can see your screen. Thank you very much. Okay, so just let me know when you want me to maybe move to the next slide. Sure. Um, so last talk, uh, last session, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'll try and keep this short so we can all end. Uh, my name is um, Nishadi and I lead the uh, microorganism work within Ensemble. Uh, which I'm sure many of you would have heard about. It's a large project at the EBI in the UK. So if we move to the next slide. So Ensemble was born around the Human Genome Project um, quite a while ago now, but soon it was clear that it needed to extend its arms around the rest of the taxonomic tree. I work uh, with Ensemble Fungi, Ensemble Protists and um, Ensemble Bacteria protests you loosely cover single-celled organisms from many parts of this tree um, and if you just press enter now <laughs> sorry and very recently we've also um, launched our own COVID-19 ensemble um, resource to try and apply the ensemble techniques to um, SARS-CoV-2 as well so you progress thank you um, we don't typically do genome assembly, uh, but as we've heard in um, the previous talks, uh, there's a lot of work ongoing on uh, assembling all of these genomes, but we do work with, uh, work with annotating these reference assemblies. Traditionally, what thing, uh, how things have been done is for the non-vertebrates, we've typically relied on communities such as yourselves submitting your assemblies and annotation to public archives like the ENA. And we would import these in bulk to our resources and then do computation on them downstream. However, for our vertebrate genomes, we have done our own in-house gene annotations. But as, as with the, um, if you just press enter now, <laughs> um, there, there are these massive projects as you've heard, and we are involved with some of them such as the Tree of Life, and we are exploring how our gene annotation can extend to things beyond uh, just vertebrate genomes and um, ex just figuring out how our pipelines can cope with the rest of the genomes that are coming our way now. And next slide, please. And once these genomes are within our systems, we do we run lots of our pipelines on them. This is, this is kind of a boring slide, but all I wanted to say here was that we talk to many external data sources and pull all of these annotations into our, um, on, to sit on top of our genes. If you move to the next slide, thank you. Um, so one interesting example that I thought I would pull out for this particular talk is our collaborations with um, Rothenstedt Research, where we annotate our genes with, um, functional uh, bits of information regarding their interactions within their host. So this particular gene I pulled out uh, from Trypanosoma brucei uh, shows, for instance, that it's down regulation or loss might then mean that this is highly resistant to the, um, resistant to the uh, commonly used drugs. If we proceed to the next slide. Thank you. So like I mentioned, this is because we also work with lots of collab uh, through lots of collaborations funded here by the BBSRC uh, with other partners that do manual curation of the literature of various uh, things in this particular case, um, pathogen host interactions and, and bring these onto the, onto the genes within Ensemble. So Ensemble here sits as your one stop shop for uh, pulling in all of the data from various resources, resources to sit on top of the assemblies and the gene annotations um, to be queried and examined. If we move to the next slide. 
Thank you. So once we have these um, genes annotated with these um, uh, information, we could explore, for instance, behavior in other pathogens. So just extrapolating from the example I had earlier about uh, brucei, um, I dug up here a paper that confirms, for instance, similar behavior observed in Lishmania major, which we can also observe by the gene trees that ensemble um, builds on a, on a very regular basis. So I just want to highlight here that as, as I can sense from, from this community that we've been listening listening to today, that as we're entering these um, genome sequencing projects for these new species, it's, it's wor very worthwhile depositing your data into open access repositories such as the ENA and Ensemble, because you can really harvest some of the bioinformatics muscle that we have been um, developing for the past 20 odd years without reinventing the, the wheel. So if you move on to the next slide. Another uh, uh, highly popular tool within Ensemble is our variant effect predictor. As time goes on, it is likely that there'll be many sequences of many different strains of the species that some of you are interested in. And when, that's, when that day comes, um, like I've done here with another um, fungal pathogen of, of wheat, uh, it might be that you want to bring in your uh, variants and explore them against the reference genome. And again, Ensemble can help you do this freely um, and in a, uh, in, in a, in a user-friendly way. If you move to the next slide. Thanks. Um, one of the main reasons I, I wanted to participate in this, um, in this meeting was to try and build um, relationships with, uh, with, with the various communities working on these species so that we can explore how Ensemble can, can help and how we can participate in some of these sequencing and genomic efforts. Uh, this is a picture uh, from, a, from an annual uh, fungal training course that, that we run. It seems strange to see so many people standing so close together without a mask um, now, but, um, but, the, but Ensemble also provides lots of training, lots of hands-on um, courses and workshops at various institutions and we have people come on to um, campus, well, not, not this year, but, but typically we do. Um, and, and I want to really stress that that is, that is something we're really ex um, hoping to build here with the species we've been talking about today. If you move to the next slide. Yeah, so I will end here. Um, I, I know there's probably not much time for questions um, live, but please feel free to contact me. Um, regarding any of these and I'd be happy to help and we also have an official help desk team that uh, that can also help with questions. Thank you very much. Thank you Nishadi. Uh, do we have any questions now? We have a bit, little bit time. No, maybe